Hi, this is Nathan, your Neighborhood Arcade and Pinball Talk Guy. We're going to be reviewing Space Jam by Sega today. Please look for our review underneath the description of our YouTube video. That's where all the metrics will be written out so you can see it quick and simple. Uh, other than that, please follow us on our social media formats, Arcade and Pinball Talk on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, as well as click that red subscribe button. If you like arcade, if you like virtual pinball, if you like mechanical pinball, that's what we do here at Arcade and Pinball Talk. Join our family. Click subscribe now. Uh, other than that, let's go ahead and get this review underway, shall we? That's pretty cool, the plunger going off into a hoop. So you, the harder you shoot the plunger, you shoot it into a basket, uh, which is which is past that, which exits to your right end line. Pretty cool. And that ramp right there went through the uh, the basket to the middle and then exited to your left, your right end line as well. Interesting kick out right there, kicks it up underneath that basketball. Shoots it around the route, wire form, exits to your left end lane. Very tight shooting through the middle of that table to get to those pop bumpers. Got some targets to the left. Basically have an orbit going around the outside of the table. And of course, if you don't make that shot right there with enough ball speed, it just drops it right back down to your pop bumpers. Got a little kick out to the middle, as you see there. There's that lane that says jump ball, so it pops it up to the wire form. Fun game. Nice little layout, too. I'm kind of liking the colorations of it. Artwork is there. It's Michael Jordan, for God's sake. Daffy Duck, you know, the Martian, Bugs Bunny, all on here. Pretty cool. Soundtrack is what you would expect. It's, it's more basketball theme. You got some some sound bites of obviously the characters in the background. Nice looking game so far. There's your orbit. Two flippers on this game. Flipper gap's not too bad, but it even has a stop peg to the back middle of it. It's a very simple layout, but you know, let's just be real. I think the shots aren't too bad on this game. Let's see what happens on this multi-ball. Themes there at Space Jam. Soundtrack, soundtrack is okay. That's what you would expect from a basketball themed uh, pinball machine. There's also a captive ball to, uh, to on the right side of the left orb. There's a captive ball there with the target behind it. Tried to hit it right there, almost again, but it's right there on that that peg. So pretty decent table mechanics on this. Replayability, I think, is there. Definitely reaches, the, there's the captive ball. Reaches that certain segment. There's that stop button peg. I was hoping it would bounce off of that. All in all, so far, so good. Art's there, theme is what you would expect from an older Sega. Uh, soundtrack is what you would expect from a basketball theme with uh, some, some, uh, some different cartoon characters incorporated into it. That was interesting, just jumped up on the wire form. So this ball pops around quite a bit on this table. There's the orbit. Moderate difficulty on this machine. There is a little bit of a higher ball speed to it though, uh, which is good, I like that. Very nice, I mean, all in all, a great game. I mean, Space Jam by Sega, check it out again. Our, our review is under the description of our video. On desktop, you're gonna see that as show more. On mobile, you're going to see it as a triangle or just click on the headline. But either way, go ahead and click subscribe. Thank you for watching today. We appreciate it.